Hello guys, Olga today with you. In this video I'm gonna tell you the things which is normal in Ukraine but you as a foreigner may not expect that. This would be the most useful for somebody who planned long time living in Ukraine but even if you are coming as a tourist it could be still useful for you. So let's start. Number one, people don't speak English. Yeah, many people can say, I know, I know, it's local language, it's Ukrainian, say like German in Germany, French in France, and so on. But anyway, if you are a tourist, it would be fine while you know some English. And here I need to say that in Ukraine, still most of people don't speak English. So if you are going to hotel, you need to be ready that nobody will be able to answer you in English, in restaurants, in shops, in the train stations, and in museums and other places. Second, not all roads which you see on the map are roads in real life. So if you are planning some kind of car trip to Ukraine, you don't need to take everything what you see on the map like there is a road for sure, because road could be very bad, it could be very terrible, you can literally broke your car or tire and it can totally get out. So always when I am planning to go somewhere, I'm always going to internet and I'm reading reviews about specific roads what people are writing and I need to read the recent reviews because even if the road was good doesn't mean that it remained good. This is what I'm suggesting for you if you plan road trip or over Ukraine anywhere always check the roads don't trust just the things which is on the map. Number three, not much call centers. What do I mean? That in many European countries, and I assume that maybe in US as well, and Canada, if you want to get any information from the governmental department or actually from any department, the only option sometimes is just to call on the line and hang and wait once your turn will come and uh, you will get the answer on your question. In Ukraine, it's actually mostly not the case. So for so many things, you cannot call at all. You just need to come, search for somebody, ask him how the things should be done. And even if there is a phone number, uh, we mostly time doesn't have a queue. So if you call and it's busy, it will not say that just wait, you are number eight on the line and you can wait for an hour. In Ukraine, it's usually you call and it's just giving you alert that the line is busy and you need to call again and again and again and again until you will try to catch somebody who will pick up the call. Number four, documents are not coming by post. So while living in uh, Europe, I see that there are so many governmental services are just um, all papers, all communication always coming to you by post. They can send you by post even residence card, they can send you passport by post, they can send you anything actually, all kind of documents, bank cards and so on. In Ukraine, I guess our post is very not reliable, a governmental one. We have private reliable post but not governmental and that's why this post ideas is not there for all governmental offices, for all private companies, for banks, whatever you are applying you always need to come and pick the things personally by yourself. In continuous to the governmental staff, there are no appointments mostly for governmental offices. So uh, sometimes there can be no appointments at all. So you can just come and sit on the queue and receive your service or whatever you need to do. Or sometimes you can pick appointment and pick the time, but still it's very, very not reliable because you will come as per appointment, but you will still sit in the queue and you need to just wait until your queue will come. Another thing which you may not expect that we don't have locally Amazon, eBay and other international websites. So some people can say it's not a big deal. Yeah, somehow it's not a big deal, but for example, if you are if you used to have all kind of Amazon things you may understand that it will not work and it will not be for sale in Ukraine and so many international uh, gadgets especially the one that you can buy in uh, anywhere outside like Google Nest this Google assistant Apple assistant all these kind of things Apple store for example also is not in Ukraine you will find them in Ukraine for sale but that would be much more expensive and it would be brought by third party because straightforward directly you cannot buy them from those 
those shops. <laughs> Let me talk about more positive things. It's uh, cheap and always available services. And here I'm talking about so many things. Plumbers, electricians, trainers, all kind of lessons, doctors, whatever you want, you can always find it available right now in this day, in the nearest few hours for sure, you will find something available and it will not cost crazy amount of money as per local standards. So I'm not saying that if you're a foreigner and you are earning money in your local currency and you will come to Ukraine, then most likely all the services would be relatively cheap for you compared to your native country. But I mean, even with local salaries, uh, find and pay for local specialists, as I said, doctors, trainers, any kind of lessons or whatever, you will always find it available and you always will find it very affordable, cheap and affordable houses. So in Ukraine, in some remote village, you can find house with two or three thousand dollars. Yeah, for sure that would be not some perfect home and it's not something super nice. But if you have only two or three thousand dollars, you can buy livable house with water and with heating inside, even in remote place. In many countries in the world, even if you want to go to the most remote place, to some livable house, it will still cost a very noticeable amount of money. Like, you know, you, you cannot go such cheap two three thousand dollars this is nothing actually for most of people but yes if you want to go as more nice house as more close to capital it will reach it can reach to five hundred thousand dollars so it doesn't mean that all houses are cheap but if you have very miserable amount of money you still can have the roof on top of your head Another interesting thing that we don't have something called only residential area, only commercial area, only business areas, like in some countries, places where people are living, they are totally separated from all kinds of shops and services. In Ukraine, it's always mixed, especially that we are living mostly in apartments, in high rise buildings, always on the five minutes walk around you, you will find pharmacies, grocery shops, gym, um, some kind of private clinic and all kind of other shops with so many stuff, all kind of things. So it would be always available. You don't need to go and drive far in the city uh, just to reach to the nearest grocery shop. Most of the medicines you can buy without prescriptions in the pharmacies. And actually prescriptions before were for a very limited amount of uh, medicines, like something which is really contain drugs or uh, something like for people with diabetes and others. So something super, super specific. Um, and uh, antibiotics did not require a prescription before and they introduced it but now due to the war they still suspended the thing so even now it is somehow should have a, a prescription but because of war uh, prescription is not required so even antibiotics still nowadays and all kind of uh, uh, hormonal uh, medicines and others you can still buy freely in a pharmacy without any problems. Credit cards and credit history is not required almost for anything. So for sure if you want to take a mortgage or if you would like to buy uh, something with a very big credit amount like car or house then they would look to your credit history but you can have none and still this is not a problem to receive the credit but this is the thing when the credit history is at all getting checked but for example if you want to buy if you want to rent apartment if you want to take some small loan for for phone for example or for some kind of gadgets electronic devices to buy sofa in installment or whatever these things doesn't require credit history from you at all doesn't actually require anything so um, all these things here is not there and also credit cards as a cards in some countries you must have them you must use them and you cannot pay by debit card for some kind of things or in some kind of cases in ukraine this is not requirement i guess because we are still a bit far from all these ideas and so many people doesn't have bank cards at all they still operating only with cash that's why those things in ukraine are still not getting checked and i would say that this is good for foreigners because for example once we move to abroad and we face the problem that if you don't have credit history and this is where ukrainians facing worldwide in canada in 
US, in UK here and in other countries. If you don't have credit history, you will have a hard time even to find apartment for rent because you don't have credit history behind yourself. But so, as I said, in Ukraine, it will never make you a problem that you are new in the country and you didn't build your credit history yet. And once I start talking about apartment, let me tell the another thing that apartment rent is always with the furniture. Find apartment or house for rent which is totally empty and doesn't have any furniture. This is very rare case. You can find sometimes such options or you can find some new apartment where it's not much furniture and you can ask landlord to take it away, but this would be rather an exception than the rule because as per rules always you will have full equipped apartment and again if you're a foreigner coming to the country for one two years for example or even shorter this is very big advantage to not go and furnish the whole house on your cost and then have nothing to do with that furniture and the last point which I noticed in Ukraine we don't have really property management companies then you have for example some big apartment building which is managed by the company and you rent from them you solve all the problems with them so there is always some managing company Ukraine is just starting these things to start getting introduced to Ukraine but this would be very rare find and by default you will never have such companies if you have any problem with neighbors you need to go and solve the things with them by yourself and you don't have any third party who can help you to solve those problems the maximum you can go to court and complain and you know what is going to court for any kind of uh, places this is very long time and totally not guaranteed results so whatever problems you usually uh, facing with apartment which you rented with apartment which you own with um, neighbors with a building this is all you need to go and solve by yourself and don't hope that there will be some company who can do that for you and another thing which is somehow related to the previous one that we don't have real estate agencies which works correctly again we start having some real estate agents working as per world model where he is working just in the interest of uh, them um, his client whom he's representing regardless if it is uh, the one who is giving for rent or the one who is selling or the one who is buying in ukraine it's mostly not like that and people when they introduce apartment for rent they don't want to pay for real estate agents so you actually find advertisement by yourself you call by yourself to this advertisement and you are the one who need to pay all the payments for the real estate agent because the apartment owner um, he doesn't want to pay he's very fine if you don't want to rent there will be another 1 million people who would like to rent this apartment so you please are the one who need to pay uh, money to the real estate agent and the same could be with purchase but with purchase sometimes if because it's not really easy to purchase apartments so people sometimes can agree on 50 percent you cover real estate agent 50 percent they cover real estate agent but um, it's not again straightforward 100 percent that if he is the one who hire real estate agent he is the one who need to pay for him we still don't have this culture in ukraine and you need to be ready for that it's very stupid uh, i understand how stupid is that but this is unfortunately what we have okay guys so thanks for watching this video i hope those tips were interesting for you and you get to know something new and it helped you to get understand things better in ukraine especially if you are considering to move and live there in future love you guys all bye bye